Hey guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here, and welcome to another episode of WTPU, aka What the Pickup? Now, as you may recall, in the last episode of the uh, show, which you can see right down over here, I talked about uh, the uh, three uh, sets of, of course, uh, Q Posic uh, figures that I actually got, all themed to, of course, uh, Pretty much uh, the uh, three main leads, and of course, uh, Yashihime, which are uh, Toa, Setsuna, and Moraha, which... To which, yeah, it, I think they're actually a really great uh, figure, so for uh, sure, and I'm really impressed with, of course, what I'm actually uh, seeing uh, for uh, sure. It really is uh, quite amazing to uh, pretty much uh, have for uh, sure, and definitely uh, goes great with the uh, other uh, figures that I've actually uh, got uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, and don't worry about the thing, I'll definitely uh, get right on to watching uh, Yashahime once I actually uh, get through with, of course, uh, the entirety of uh, Inuyasha for a sure, or I guess in this case, the rest of uh, Inuyasha for a sure, so... So yeah, probably gonna take some uh, time for me to uh, do that, but I'll get around to it uh, eventually uh, for sure. But until then, if you want to check that episode out for yourself, then don't worry about a thing. There's a card over there, over at the top right corner of the screen, as well as, of course, the link to it down in the uh, description box below. So, so yeah, whichever you prefer, uh, go right ahead. I'll wait until you come back. Yeah, uh, take all the uh, time you need. I'll still be here by the time you uh, come back uh, for a uh, sure so. Um, so yeah, probably gonna be a long one for a sure, but... But I think you'll be in for a real treat. Yeah, um, yeah, I guess I... Uh, yeah, I guess it's uh, pretty much why I can't see on that. And my point still stands that I would definitely love to cosplay Toa from uh, Yashahime uh, sometime later. And I do my... I do know my girlfriend will definitely make a really, really great, uh, Moraha for us, sure, so... Although... If we ever do hit up a, a convention with, of course, me as Toa and my girlfriend as Moraha... I can only imagine what, uh, the uh, scenario will, uh, be like if, uh, my girlfriend as Moraha... Would be like wearing, uh, shoes for the, uh, convention. In character. I mean, it kind of makes sense, seeing of how uh, Moraha is uh, definitely barefoot uh, for a sure, so... I might be a little bit curious to see uh, uh, how Moraha will adapt to, you know, wearing shoes. Alright, I guess seeing of how you did already see the last episode of uh, this show, we might as well go ahead and start off this episode as we uh, normally do. Well, I guess it's probably been a long time uh, coming up for us, uh, sure, but for today's episode, I think it's about time that uh, we talk about pretty much uh, a recent addition that I've actually got for uh, my uh, Bachman uh, Thomas uh, layout for us, uh, sure, and no, it's not a new, uh, it's uh, not a new uh, Thomas uh, model yet, uh, so... But rather, uh, something, uh, that does have an interesting, uh, tying up for a uh, sure, so. So, if you are quite curious to, uh, know, so. I guess, uh, these things in the, uh, back will definitely explain also. So, yeah, what I actually have here is, of course, uh, all in one bag, uh, some really, really nice, uh, rail, uh, buffers that I, uh, got straight off of, uh, Amazon, uh, for a uh, sure, so. So, yeah, uh, I guess it kind of make, uh, sense on that front, uh, for a uh, sure, and... Yeah, trust me when I say it's probably been a long time coming to uh, finally uh, get those up uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, here I am officially uh, talking about them uh, for uh, sure, so... So, yeah, I think you can pretty much uh, get the uh, clear picture on that, so... So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Alright, so uh, now that I've actually uh, got that out of the way, I think it makes sense to uh, finally uh, get right on to uh, talking about these uh, for uh, sure, and... Now, I mean, uh, I guess it's, uh, quite obvious, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, how did I manage to, uh, get these, uh, for a sure? Well, it is, uh, quite obvious, I did manage to, uh, 
pretty much uh, have them uh, saved onto my Amazon wishlist for some time now as uh, upon looking at these, I do think uh, they actually uh, do look like some uh, some really, really nice uh, additions to my uh, Bachman uh, Thomas uh, layout that I currently have in uh, my room for uh, some time. So, so yeah, I guess uh, for uh, what it is, I think it is uh, something actually uh, I'd be uh, looking forward to uh, have as a uh, nice little uh, addition uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, and of course, uh, interestingly enough, uh, I didn't get these uh, pretty much uh, all wrapped up into one. No, 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 no. Believe it or not, uh, these ones I've actually uh, got right here, uh, these are actually uh, 3D printed uh, by the uh, guys at a uh, company that goes by the name of Outland Models. And, well, good luck uh, trying to uh, find uh, any information on that. But I assume they uh, did specializing, of course, uh, pretty much uh, provide anything for, of course, uh, any uh, train layout for sure. In fact, I've already got myself a nice uh, gallery book on, of course, uh, what they've actually done and... Yeah, I guess uh, with uh, what we're seeing right here, uh, based on the uh, gallery book, they actually specialize in, of course, uh, providing uh, scenery and, of course, accessories for uh, any uh, layout uh, for sure, whether it be, uh, of course, uh, N scale, uh, HO scale, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, looks like it uh, for sure, and ooh, uh, pretty much a Z scale, uh, that's actually uh, quite interesting, so... And is there anything else? So, oh yeah, it looks like uh, pretty much a double O scale, uh, which is quite obvious. So, oh, and O scale, nice. And nope, I think that's about it. So, so yeah, I guess from what I assume, uh, Outland Models actually does uh, specializing, of course, uh, providing some uh, scenery and accessories for uh, a. Uh, Layout of your choosing from any uh, scale uh, for uh, sure, so that's actually uh, good to uh, know uh, for uh, sure, so but yeah, and I guess uh, for this case, uh, from uh, what I'm actually seeing, uh, looks like these uh, real buffers I actually got somehow landed into the uh, HO and double O scale uh, range uh, for a uh, sure, and uh. So yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much why I can uh, gather, and again, I think, uh, if anything, uh, these uh, actually came out really, really nicely uh, 3D printing uh, for sure, and, and of course, uh, oddly enough, it's actually my first time getting uh, some things uh, that are 3D printing uh, for sure, and uh, normally, I think uh, around the time uh, I actually uh, got those, uh, they were, of course, in their uh, base and their uh, supports and stuff af uh, after being uh, freshly uh, 3D uh, printing uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I guess it is uh, quite obvious, and of course, uh, based on the uh, packaging, uh, for sure, uh, based on this uh, image, uh, it would showcase that uh, pretty much of anything. Seeing about how I did uh, get these for a really, really cheap price on Amazon, they will include uh, four rail buffers, uh, for sure. Well, I ended up getting three, which uh, all together lands to uh, 12 pieces of these uh, all together, so why did I go for uh, 12 pieces as opposed to uh, just the uh, four uh, that I got in one packet? Well, it's mainly because, well, I needed something just in case I uh, needed a lot of siding stuff for sure. And plus, I think uh, the inside of Timoth Shed uh, looks a little bit bare uh, without uh, the uh, rail buffers uh, stopping to, uh, yeah, stopping my uh, engines for sure. Otherwise, they just, well, ram into the wall. Yeah, I think you can pretty much uh, see where I'm getting at here, so... But yeah, I guess, uh, nevertheless, I think, uh, for, uh, what I'm actually, uh, talking about, I think, uh, according to the, uh, packaging, uh, for sure, it definitely is, uh, quite impressive, and, and yes, by the way, around the time I, uh, got those, uh, out for sure, I decided to, of course, have these, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much have 12 of these all in these, uh, one packet for, uh, sure, uh, because it's a lot more, uh, roomier, uh, for, uh, sure, and, uh, and, of course, the other two, uh, bags, uh, the, uh, other two, uh, that I, uh, Kaga for, uh, sure, I had to throw away just to fit all 12 of these, uh, into this, uh, bag, uh, for sure, so. But, hey, I guess, uh, for the case of, uh, this, uh, episode, for uh, sure, I think we might as well, like, get out, uh, one, uh, just to, uh, just to be, uh, safe, so, um, ooh, there we go, so, 
or you know, just move that off to the side. So, so yeah, here's uh, definitely a uh, one of them for uh, sure. And uh, and yeah, I guess you can pretty much uh, see right here. This actually uh, looks uh, really really impressive. You can definitely see uh, that there's a whole lot of uh, hard working into uh, into of course uh, this one for uh, sure. And it definitely looks like the. Uh, Really, really nice uh, set of uh, rail buffers that you are uh, seeing any railway in the United Kingdom, which, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, is actually uh, probably, I think, uh, what they're uh, going for uh, with, of course, uh, pretty much uh, all of these uh, for uh, sure. So, but I really do admire the uh, nice uh, bit of hard work they actually uh, put into, of course, uh, this one. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, you can definitely see uh, they uh, really did a fine job uh, with uh, what I'm actually seeing. And again, this is actually nicely 3D printed uh, from uh, Y King uh, Gather. So, so yeah, I guess about anything, it is actually uh, quite impressive to actually uh, see up close uh, for sure. And uh, and I guess that would beg the other question: Will it actually uh, fit in well uh, to, of course, on uh, my track? Well, I think we might as well answer that question by going to my uh, layout to uh, see for ourselves. So, so yeah. Alrighty then, uh, here we are back in, of course, uh, my uh, my uh, Bachman uh, Thomas uh, layout as we uh, speak uh, with nothing going on uh, for uh, sure. Just to uh, mainly uh, figure out where the hell we're going to put uh, this uh, for uh, sure. Well, this is actually uh, quite interesting uh, to know and... Uh, and I guess uh, based on what we're uh, seeing right here, yeah, this actually uh, is, of course, uh, part of the uh, HO00 scale uh, track for a sure so. So I think it should uh, work uh, for a sure so. But hey, I guess uh, for the case of this episode, uh, I think I don't know where we're going to put it uh, for a sure, but, but for the sake of this episode, I think we might as well uh, go for somewhere around here uh, as a good example on what I mean. So. But yeah, I think I might as well uh, put this on uh, one of my uh, straight pieces of track uh, just to see if it'll fit on perfectly. So um, give me uh, all right, we might be getting somewhere. So uh, yeah, but man, this is this is really tough from a uh, hiking a gather zone. Hmm. All right, well let's try uh further down uh, for a sure so. Oh, okay, I think I got a uh, guy. Snapped on a real good home. So, so yeah, I guess uh, from uh, what I'm actually seeing, this actually does uh, clip on uh, rather good. And if I can uh, zoom in uh, for a second, so um, so yeah, you can definitely see uh, it actually does have a really good uh, grip on, of course, uh, the uh, track uh, from what I can gather. And uh, and yeah, honestly, I think uh, probably I think the uh, only flaw that I actually uh found uh, so far is that uh, it can be quite hard to of course uh, clip on uh, for uh, sure but then again uh, these are of course uh, freshly uh, 3D printed and uh, and I assume uh, the uh, people who uh, made these uh, probably have uh, no idea whatsoever but, uh, but hey I think they uh, dig it in the uh, correct uh, pretty much uh, size uh, for sure and and yeah, I guess I go. I guess uh, from what I can uh, see, uh, this actually uh, does uh, pretty much uh, come off uh, rather uh, fine uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, nothing uh, too complicated from uh, what I can uh, gather up. Uh, but, but I have to say, this is actually uh, very well done uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, let's zoom back out. So, so yeah, I guess it's a. Uh, pretty much uh, what I can see on that so so yeah I guess uh, overall I'm actually uh, really impressed by these uh, real buffers that I actually uh, got uh, right here yeah I mean could I uh, do you think uh, if anything uh, or not do you think uh, do I think uh, they could have been uh, a whole lot better uh, with the uh, much better amount of uh, treatment to uh, make things a whole lot more easier I suppose so but uh, but hey I know for sure um, that uh, not everything uh, is, of course, uh, can be made uh, perfectly uh, for sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, I will have to say uh, it can be quite a bit of a chore to try uh, getting uh, hooked on uh, all the uh, way uh, to uh, exactly uh, what we uh, need uh, for sure. But I'm really impressed regardless, uh, of course, what they've uh, actually done for sure really does uh, match the uh, style of, of course, the uh, rail buffers that you see in every railway in the United Kingdom. So... So yeah, if that's the approach that they're uh, going for, I say they definitely uh, succeed on that. So, so yeah, and uh, and yeah, I'll just uh, set this uh, back down over here. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I know I couldn't uh, snap it back in uh, for a sure bug on, but it's probably the uh, only thing I can do at this point. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, if you are lucky, definitely uh, check these uh, out for sure. Like I said, I actually got those uh, straight off of Amazon for some rather cheap prices. So, um, so yeah, if it's uh, something you're looking into, uh, into uh, adding something to your uh, HO00 scale layout, I think these are uh, definitely uh, well worth uh, checking out uh, for uh, sure. So. So yeah, and I guess on that thought, I guess I might as well end the, uh, I might as well end this uh, episode uh, right here. So, so yeah, I guess it's pretty much what I can see on that. So, so yeah. With that being said, uh, let me know in the comment section below on what you thought uh, for uh, sure. Uh, I would definitely love to uh, know. So, so yeah. I guess on that thought, uh, that'll pretty much do exactly that. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest episode of What the Pickup and. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I think if things uh, did work out in my end uh, for uh, sure, uh, I'll be sure to uh, do another episode uh, later on if I'm not too busy with uh, other things uh, for uh, sure. But that will depend on, uh, of course, uh, what uh, items I'll be uh, getting in the uh, near uh, future for uh, sure, so... So yeah, but I guess until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Hey guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as joining our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show in support to me on both of my wish lists on Amazon and Right Stuff Anime, and even supporting me with my link on Streamlabs that you can find on my Twitch page. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.